Installation and assembly of your new trusty lift. Start by positioning the main lift components. The tower, base frame, and platform should be positioned as shown near the lift's final location, allowing enough space to easily work around the lift. The tower base frame support consists of two base legs, which bolt to the tower and then are anchored to the pad to ensure safe and stable lift operation. There are three leveling bolts on each base leg that will be adjusted when the lift is located in the correct operating position. Remove the tower bolts and fully retract the 3 8 leveling bolts to avoid marking the concrete when moving the tower into position. Slide the base legs into place, then install and tighten the half inch tower mounting bolts with washers. Locating the lift keys. Every trusty lift is equipped with two types of keys. The control box cover keys are used to open the control box to access the fuses and control relays when servicing the lift. The on off control keys are attached to the inside of the control box cover for shipping purposes. Retrieve the keys, close and lock the control box cover and insert the on-off key into the on-off key switch located in the center of the control box cover. Turn the key clockwise to the 90 degree on position and pull out the emergency red stop button. Removing the top and front tower cover panels. At the top of the tower, there are four screws holding the top cover panel in place. Loosen each of these screws to remove the top cover. Note that these screws do not need to be removed completely, only loosened. The cover should slide up and off with little resistance. Removing the top cover reveals three screws at the top of the tower, holding the front cover in place. Remove these screws and pull the panel out. Note that the front panel is also connected with Velcro, so you'll need to apply a small amount of pressure to fully release it. Set the top and front tower cover panels aside. Note the top cover switch located in the right hand upper side of the tower. This switch prevents the motor from running when the top cover is not in place, allowing the lift to be cranked manually or serviced in a safe manner. Installing the platform. Move the platform into position as shown, being careful not to scratch the painted metal as all marks and scratches must be repaired or sealed to prevent rusting. Locate the manual crank ratchet and 15 16 socket plus the two gold colored half inch platform mounting bolts in the parts bags. Using the manual crank ratchet and socket, turn the screw gear at the top of the tower, moving the guide frame up or down until the holes in the platform line up with the holes in the guide frame. Insert the half inch bolts and tighten only until one or two threads are visible past the locking nut on the inside of the platform. These bolts will be difficult to rotate as they are being tightened into a steel lock nut. Be careful not to over tighten as these bolts are pivot bolts which allow the platform tilt to be adjusted in a later step. Reinstall the top tower cover so the lift can be operated for the remaining steps of the installation. Note that when installing the top cover, the larger plastic washers go on the outside of the cover and the smaller plastic washers go on the inside next to the tower frame. Slide the top cover fully into the slots to make sure the top cover switch is activated. You do not need to re-tighten the top cover screws at this point as it will be removed again later. Now that the top cover is on, plug the lift into the wall, test the lift operation by pressing the up and down paddles, making sure that the emergency stop is pulled out and that the on-off control key is turned 90 degrees clockwise to the on position. Tow plate installation. The tow plate is designed to prevent a wheelchair from rolling off the platform when the lift is raised and then serves as a ramp to access the platform when the lift reaches the lower level. 
The mechanism consists of four components, toe plate, mounting angle, rocker arm, and the grab rail. Note that although the mounting angle is bolted to the side of the platform as per the orientation of your order, it can easily be moved to the other side if you need to reverse the tower position. Position the toe plate so that it lines up with the holes on the mounting angle. Thread in the two 3 8 pivot bolts into the mounting angle lock nut. Do not over tighten these bolts as the toe plate must pivot freely. Remove the packaging foam and the tie strap freeing the rocker arm from the grab rail. The arm should have two number 10 screws installed on its side. Remove the two screws from the side of the rocker arm and use to attach the rocker arm to the side of the toe plate. To test the function of the toe plate, raise and lower the platform and observe its movement. It should come down and form a ramp at the bottom and fully raise as the platform moves upwards. Installing the platform walls. Slide the control wall over the two mounting posts located on the tower side of the platform. Use four quarter inch bolts with flat washers to fasten the wall in place. Repeat the process for the handrail wall opposite the control wall. Using the number 10 screws and flat washers, secure the center of the control wall to the tubes located on either side of the control panel. Moving into final position. Now that the lift is assembled, you can slide it into position. The running clearance gap between the platform and the travel wall should be no less than a quarter of an inch and no more than three quarters of an inch. The spacing between the handrail top bar and any fixed point of the building should be at least two inches. Once the lift is in position, tighten the base leg leveling bolts in each corner to lift the base leg slightly off the support pad, making sure that only the bolts are making contact. Leave the middle leveling bolts backed off for now. Check to make sure that the distance between the platform and the travel wall is consistent as the platform moves from the top to the bottom. If necessary, you can use the base leg leveling bolts to fine tune this setting. As noted earlier, the platform is supported by the two pivot bolts that allow the platform level to be adjusted. The platform tilt will change when the two tilt bolts located on the underside of the platform as shown are adjusted in to lower the tilt angle and out to raise the tilt angle. Adjust these bolts equally so that the platform is approximately 3 16 of an inch higher than level on the side opposite the tower to allow for some movement when the load is applied to the platform. Ensure that the platform tilt bolts are load balanced as uneven tilt bolt tension will create a spring in the platform when it is loaded. Setting the upper floor travel limit. The upper floor travel limit is determined by the vertical position of the limit bracket located on the center post of the tower. When you receive the lift, it will be set for maximum travel height. To set the upper floor travel limit, move the bracket to the approximate height by loosening the two clamping screws on the upper limit bracket and moving it down to the approximate desired position. Test the upper limit bracket position by running the lift up until the lift stops automatically. If the platform and the landing don't line up, measure the difference and adjust the bracket by that amount. Once the bracket is set, tighten the clamping screws and install the locking screw taped to the side of the upper limit bracket. Drilling and installing the base leg anchor bolts. Install the concrete anchors using a 3 8 concrete bit and hammer drill. Center each anchor in the base leg anchor holes provided. Your hole depth should be slightly deeper than the length of the drop-in anchor. Tighten each anchor so the base legs are firmly secured. 
Now that all four anchors are set in place, you can slightly tighten up the middle leveling bolt, which will further stiffen the base legs. Remove the top tower cover again, so that you can slide the front tower cover back into place. Note that there is a small locating slot at the bottom of the front tower cover panel that will help with alignment. Once the bottom of the panel is in place, line up the top three holes and snap the Velcro into place. Install the three screws with the washers provided. Note that these screws do not need to be over tightened. Reinstall the top cover. It is important that the panel slides completely down into the slots as the top cover switch must be activated for the lift to operate. Congratulations! Your trusty lift is installed and ready for use.